Good morning, party people. <coughs> it's been a minute. Let me set you guys up here and I'll have a conversation. There we go. Set up now so I can get ready. As I said, it's been a minute since I've been on YouTube on this channel. The breakdown has still been going ahead as normal, but um, we're in lockdown. We have been in lockdown now for nine weeks. So Sydney, New South Wales, Australia in general has had the Delta variant of COVID hit pretty hard. Um, and due to our government not ordering enough vaccinations, we were ill prepared. So whilst like the UK and America and stuff have kind of got pretty high vaccination rates, ours are really low. I was unable to get vaccinated until just recently when they finally got more in. So anyway, long story short is that we're now locked down until we hit like 70% vaccination rates, which they're saying will be end of October. <sighs> A while away. But I guess the, the moral of this is I lost motivation for creating videos here. I lost a bit of purpose because um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this channel and what you guys wanted to see. I put a poll out on Instagram just sort of saying, hey, like, you guys want more content because you were asking, what do you want to see? And the answer was just more life stuff, um, which I forget to do, to be honest. As, and as I said, it's demotivating. Being stuck at home, like it's not that exciting. We're allowed to go out for an hour of exercise each day. You can't be in groups. So like I can't train with my friends at HQ. HQ is just like not happening at the moment, which sucks. But anyway, one of the things I have picked up has been running. We wrote a brand new program for Milestone called our hybrid program. And this is focused on strength as well as athleticism. So learning how to be stronger and fitter, but also run faster. Running is something that I used to do a fair bit. I really slipped on when I focused on bodybuilding more and I've fallen back into better habits with that now. So this hybrid program is built around that. We were enjoying running more and we wanted to be able to offer that to other people. So um, today I'm gonna take you on a run. I'm obviously not gonna like just run with you the whole time because that would be annoying as hell. But um, I'm going to kind of go through some of the ideas that we've put into the program, answer a few of your questions from Instagram, and I don't know, try and get creative again. This is more of like a self-accountability thing than anything else. So, yeah, that's that. Okay, so, I never talk to camera like this. I never sit and film myself talking to camera this much. Um, some creators do it and they're really good at it. I feel uncomfortable. I don't like doing it in public. Um, we're in a national park right now, thankfully, so there's not that many people around. But um, I still feel slightly uncomfortable, so bear with me here. Okay, running essentials. So I run a mix of road and trail. I'm doing a trail run today, so I've got my trail running shoes. These are the Vivo Barefoot Trails. This is not sponsored, I just run in these. Um, my man, Ross Edgley, was the one that I saw wearing these running. The idea with these is that they kind of mimic a bare foot shape. So rather than being engineered like certain other athletic brands, these allow your foot to splay out correctly, your toes get full grip, they mimic that, and it has a much more ground feel factor to them. So for me, running trail in these is great. I feel like I get a bit of a lay of the land a little bit more. I used to run in like just like a regular pair of Nikes, and I feel like I'd be more likely to roll an ankle I never ran in Nike trail shoes, but you know, this is what I'm running in here. So these are the Vivo Barefoot Trails. These are like maybe last year, maybe even the year before actually. So I'm sure they've updated since then, but this is what I go for. I've also got quite a wide foot. So these are good for that because it does allow my foot to have its natural shape. So tighten these little bad boys up, put that one on. Um, now, what was I gonna say before timing? I'm not going to track today's run, but I normally do. I do normally track this um, through Strava. Strava is an app that we kind of use uh, in the Milestone community. It runs on iPhone. I think Apple 
products as well as Android products. Um, but I use this through the phone and through my watch, so I can actually just run with just my watch. Um, and it makes it a lot easier. I get asked a lot about that actually, why I wear a Whoop and an Apple Watch. Now the reason for that is Whoop is how I track my fitness, as in like my strain, my recovery, my sleep, all with that. And then I use this for tech. So I use this for, for communication as well as stuff like Spotify. I run my playlist through this, which I'll be using today. We'll talk about headphones in a second. Um, but the Strava app through this is super easy. You essentially, it will track things that your body does normally and will add it into Strava. It does link up with Apple products, but I'll start a run on here and that'll track my time, my distance, my pacing, all that sort of stuff, which is super interesting. And particularly if you're trying to get better at something, tracking it is a really good way of doing that. So yeah, that's what we're using there. Um, I'm running in the speed shorts from Gymshark. These things are freaking insane. Um, they've come out since we last spoke. So they have this built-in short tight factor underneath here. I don't know if you can see this, I hope you can. And they've got this pocket here for the phone. So it means you will be sitting on my uh, leg there without like bouncing around in a pocket. It's actually built in on the side there. Zip pocket on the back for keys. So, so I can get back into my car at the end there, but super comfy. If you guys wanna get that, link is down in description. Last bit of product thing before we get into this is JBL. You guys know I work with JBL. I run in these bad boys all the time. This is the Reflect Mini. Um, the reason I love these is waterproof. The sound quality in this is insane. The rubberized um, earbuds bits. I don't know what you would call that. What would you call that little bit? The, the bud bit of it um, sits comfortably in the ears. Just picking off sweat and dirt from last time. Gross. Um, it sits comfortably in the ears, so it means they're actually form-fitting. They also had this fin, which when I do this, you'll see it actually sits inside the ridges of your ears. So when I'm running and bouncing my head around, because I run like this, uh, it's not going to fall out there. So really good sound quality, as I said, waterproof, um, great battery life as well, so they last for ages. So if you're going to go for like a longer run, these will last easily. If you're running for more than an hour, you're crazy. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing there. I run in sunglasses. I love my speed style sunglasses. Again, as you know on the channel, um, these are just like Oakley, I think Radar maybe? Radar EV, there you go. They say on the inside there. That's what I run in just because they let a bit of air through the eyes and they're comfortable. That's enough rambling for now. I'm gonna go for a run. See you guys in the trail. how to pick you up but look at this also <laughs> it's a long way down but that is stunning so sweating maybe long sleeves is a bad choice I'm at a spot right now called Bulama Spur. This is about an hour north of Sydney. I'm gonna try to go to that little lookout. Um, it's a pretty beautiful spot. This little run here is, I think like maybe three kilometers round trip. Maybe, I'm not sure. So not too far, but the ups and downs make it hilly and just wait till we get to the halfway point. It's pretty stunning, having said that. It doesn't get much more beautiful than that. Let me see if I can set you up a rock here and have a conversation. Ruin my times, but 
worth it. <laughs> okay, you should be safe there. Um, I am paused, great. So, it's a great little run. I should really like it. it. Makes me feel, I don't know, running for me on road gets a little stale. So, while I do have road runs in my program twice a week at the moment, and I try and do the third one, which is today, as more of like a trail run, something more for my soul than the road. The road is like getting in, getting work done. This is more, this will be fun. Sweat is dripping down my sunglasses, so you know I'm going hard. Um, one of the things I've noticed since getting, oh my God, since putting on more size is just like how much harder running is particularly on my legs. I never used to get tired legs and now I feel the fatigue. They say like every step you take is like three times your body weight pushing through your feet. So you are taking a fair bit more strain through the legs, but it's good. I'm enjoying it. I feel like the mental clarity that comes from running uh, is, is you just can't get it anywhere else. Good chance to listen to music or a podcast or an audio book. If I do like a long run, sometimes I put an audio book. I feel like that paces me more because I like so much heavy music. I just like guns to the wall, running as fast as I can. So it's a good time to catch up on that. But anyway, that's enough for me now. I'm going to keep going this run. I'll see it halfway. See if I can set up some vantage points along the way. Let's go. Don't stop. halfway oh what a lookout to get to though so this trail is pretty good because it's like uphill and downhill um heaps of winding bends and like bits you gotta jump over which i really like Ooh, keeps you on your toes as i said these things make it a little bit easier being so flat all right let's keep going coming up everything is blurry the trees flashing by my side my side we're far ahead the horizon never seems so close the sky is red we're not out of the woods yet to know don't stop in your eyes that's it we're back at the top. Back at GP boy. Um, whew, catching my breath back. So, I did not run as far as I thought I did. Slash, I didn't track running as far as I actually did because when I stopped to film a bit of the trail stuff, you know, content, um, it didn't track those bits there which is fine it's more like as I said this is more the fun run for me getting out the sunshine definitely shouldn't have worn a shirt it is warming up though winter is coming to an end here thankfully um, I'm gonna catch my breath I'll see you guys in a second breath has been returned Still sweating, but that's to be expected. I don't know if you guys have this, but I get this. I feel like I never sweat that much when I'm running. Like I sweat, but not crazy amounts. But as soon as I stop, the floodgates literally open. I'm just dripping. That's why we stay hydrated. Caught one of these off Amazon. They have like little water indicators on here, which helps keep me accountable. So I'm currently at 4 p.m. And is 144. Make that 5 p.m. Um, that's it for today's video. I'm going to keep this one nice and short, although it's probably not that short by the end of this. I think I rambled so much. Um, apologies for not being on here more. That's, I think, the big thing is 
I'm going to attempt to get on a little bit more just for a bit more like life update stuff if you're interested if this gets enough views um, if you are subscribed thank you keep coming back turn on those post notifications if you're not subscribed please do um, and let me know in the comments what you want to see more of if this is interesting to you great if it's not well also let me know because I won't film it again um, it screwed up my run so you know what um, oh my hair is longer too lockdown I haven't had a haircut and I think I'm going to keep it going I put a post up again like a poll on my insta and like 60% of people said keep going and I was going to do it anyway but it's interesting to know what you think that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully. I love you. I think you're incredible. You're going to do great things.